Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is morning time. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to be letting you guys come through like a couple different workouts with me I know a lot of you guys have been asking what I do for a workout Especially since it's kind of off season for us right now. We don't even start school for like another month So I'm gonna take you guys through some of the workouts that I make up on my own a little bit And we're gonna use the gym at my apartment complex just because it's like right downstairs It doesn't have a couple of the things that I usually use like a squat rack and like more Olympic style like weightlifting, but I do have plenty of machines and plenty of exercises that I do use down there when I can't do those things. So we're gonna go through and do that. Hopefully nobody's in the gym to awkwardly watch me filming this. Ariel is in the bathroom right now. She's gonna help me out with it. And then I have some running planned for later today and I also need to go to the Jane and Pitch. So I'm gonna take you guys through like a day in the life of me workout edition. So let's get started. Okay, and we made it. Woo! Well, well, this is the stretching room, slash whatever room it's supposed to be used for. I like the mirror. Um, but gym's over there. There is one person in there, so I'm gonna stall and stretch real quick and see if maybe she'll be gone by then. But anyways, I'm gonna show you my lift that I wrote down for today. We've got some clean complexes. Normally I do those with a barbell, but they don't have a barbell in there, so we're doing dumbbells. And we're doing Superman arm circles, which you'll see reverse lunge with pulses. That's just kind of like a warm up thingy. We'll do that like two rounds. Then we have back squats or leg press. Normally I prefer back squats, but we don't have a back squat. Oop, there goes somebody's phone. Um, we don't have a little squat rack, so I'm gonna do the leg press instead. And for leg press, I have eight warm ups with a five second hold in each of them when you get down at 90. Then I have two sets of six that are controlled, and then four that is kind of as fast as you can, like explosive. And then the last set is AMRAP, so as many reps as you can, or until failure. And paired with that, we have cable flies and hamstring curls. And then we have cable pull throughs, leg raises, and plank with a dumbbell row in between. And finishing, we're gonna do the ab machine. And then my run. Beautiful. Yeah. Okay, well, let's, let's do some stretching. Okay, so we're in the weight room. Okay, I need to get started. I'm totally procrastinating. Okay, and last but not least, we have the finisher, which is going to be way over there. Hey, bud. Um, it's the abduction machine and the adduction machine, same machine, but it's AMRAPs, two rounds, and you get a two minute rest in between. So you're gonna go on it, do as many abductions as much as you can until you fail, then rest for two minutes, and then you're gonna do the opposite way, as many as you can, rest for two minutes, and then same thing, one more set, and then you're done. And hopefully you should be dying like I am right now. Lighting. Okay, so 
now that that's done I'm probably gonna make some breakfast why am i blurry again something is wrong with my camera okay ducks and we're back we are at the jane right now as you can see we're about to pitch and she's about to hit had a good breakfast legs are a little sore from my workout obviously so i'm about to do some extra stretching and stuff use this massage gun right here from reathlete and then i think today we're gonna work on what do i want to work on today we're gonna work on a little bit of spins and then some laterals and then finish up with some full pitches and then after that i have a lesson to give and then once that's done i'm gonna go ahead and probably go get my run in for the day and then i'll be done Hey guys, definitely later in the day now, obviously. Uh, I was able to get my pitching lesson in and then I was able to finish up with my last run or my only run, I guess I should say. And then I came home, I made sure I just made dinner, just finished eating and showering and now I'm ready to talk about some fun stuff. So let's talk about workouts. I usually, when I'm doing my own personal workouts, not the ones from softball or anything like that. I try to hit full body pretty much every time I do work out. Um, although there is one specific exercise des designated for each day that I am lifting. That way I'm kind of staying on a schedule and I'm doing the same thing every week, just adding weight or adding reps, whatever my goal is. But I'm still able to hit all body instead of let's say doing legs only on day one and then having to wait until next week to do those same exact exercises and work those same muscles. So that's why today in the videos that you saw earlier, it was definitely more of a leg focused day. I wish I was able to do back squats or something, but they didn't have that in the weight room. But I was doing leg presses, hamstring curls. Um, I don't believe I recorded the dumbbell clean complex. That's not my absolute favorite because I like doing it with a barbell, but that gym doesn't have a barbell. So I did dumbbell clean complexes instead. If you guys have any questions on what those are, you're more than welcome to message me and ask or look them up, whatever is easier for you. And then same thing like reverse lunges were involved, but at the same time in the workout that I did today, I also had, you know, cable flies, um, Superman arm circles, that's what I call them at least, where I'm kind of working on my shoulder mobility, planks, leg raises, different things for my arms as well and shoulders and abs. Tomorrow's lift, is more arm focused but it does still have a little bit of everything so we have like med ball over unders against the wall we have some high knees med ball sit-ups bench press some cable crunches inverted row we have some single leg dumbbell rdls just different things like that that kind of have a little bit of everything in it but it's definitely a little bit more arm focused but um, that's just how I like to do my workouts and I also have a really bad habit of writing a lot of stuff in here and then it being an extremely hard lift and I'm like dying by the end. But the most important thing that I like to focus on when I'm doing workouts is if I do let's say overdo it, I try to listen to my body. After playing softball at the collegiate level for the last four years going into my fifth year, um, doing weight training in high school and just always being really big into like fitness and working out and staying in shape and stuff. I've learned the difference between pushing myself and when something's actually hurting me. So if I feel like this is definitely overdoing it and I'm absolutely going to be hurting or something the next day, then I will tone it down a little bit, whether it's toning down the weight or toning down the reps, whatever it is. Form is the most important thing literally at, at all when it comes to lifting and making sure you're taking care of your body and you're doing things the right way or else it's not being beneficial to you. I'm hoping to get back into our own weight room at our facilities. So I'll actually have more of the Olympic, Olympic weightlifting equipment there and like the squat racks and the trap bar deadlift bars and all those different things. But yeah, and then I even have in here a body weight track workout that you could do at a track or a field. If that's something you guys are interested in seeing, make sure you comment below. And I did this one yesterday as my day five and it was pretty tough. Like <laughs> I was definitely uh, working up a sweat, but I think it's something good if you don't have access to a gym or anything like that. And I also think it's always good to just get outside. So I have lots of different workouts that I come up with. And so if you guys would like to see more of them, by all means, like feel free to just comment. Let me know your opinion. Let me know your ideas. Uh, what you want to see more of, all of that stuff. Uh, today was my first day actually recording myself in a gym. I don't usually 
do that so it was a little weird I definitely something I had to kind of get used to and adjusted to because it definitely takes a little bit more time to get a workout done when you're also focused on making sure you're being recorded and you're getting the right views and all that kind of stuff so if that is something that you guys are interested in is seeing some of my workouts by all means like Please feel free to let me know and I'd be happy to start doing that and adding some extra time so I'll be able to do that for you guys. Another question I get a lot is how I kind of recover and take care of my body for my workouts and pitching and softball and things like that. And I think one, it's personally different for everybody, but two, like I have been really big on hydrating and ever since I've started drinking water lately, and if you guys know me, you know. Not too long ago, it was like Dr. Pepper, breakfast, lunch, dinner, middle of the night, you name it. I was not somebody that really drank water much, but I have noticed a huge, huge, huge difference in my water intake and how it's affecting my body and the energy that I have throughout the day. I started to eat healthier. I'm not overeating, I'm not under eating. I'm making sure I'm fueling my body the right way. So with that being said, it's still important to kind of make sure you're recovering in a couple of other ways as well. And one way that I have been starting to do recently within the last few days, which I've already noticed a huge difference, is I've started to use these two particular products from Reathlete. I'm about to show you guys them. I think they're super awesome. One of them I've been wanting for a very long time uh, like just like my own personal one because I feel like I'm always using this type of tool in like our treatment rooms I'm always using it before practice during practice after practice but now I have my own personal one I personally like using it before to kind of help me get stretched out more and loosen up the muscles and so that one is the re-athlete fold so it comes in this super cool container box thing um <laughs> I like it because it's really Mall. Like it's very, I, I can put this whole thing in my book bag if I wanted to, which is easy for me to carry around. But you can also, obviously if you don't want to bring the whole entire case, uh, you can just bring the gun itself. So let's see if I can pull it back out. I kind of shoved it in here earlier today. So it is a massage gun, all right? What I like is that it is foldable and it has different angles that you can use it in. And that just makes it easier for carrying around. You can use it on your back, you can use it on your shoulders. I like to use it on my legs a lot as of lately, the last couple of days that I've been using it. Uh, simply because I've gotten into running a lot more recently if you guys didn't know already So I'm doing things with like the Nike Run Club app I'm doing my softball runs my sprints and stuff and so my calves and my quads and sometimes my hamstrings like they get really really tight lately uh, Just for me running a lot and then on top of that still doing my other workouts and pitching So this has kind of been my go-to it's been like an absolute game changer for me as far as my warm-up process and getting ready to perform or to practice or work out so I really really like just kind of taking this around with me everywhere I go. I feel like it stays in my book bag right now. So love it, love it, love it, love it. And definitely recommend. It also has these different ends that you can attach to it if you want to like take out the squishy ball. I don't really know what to call it. But it has these different ones for different types of massaging um, depending on what you're looking for and what's beneficial to you, which I think is really cool. I'm really interested to try this one, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't done it yet, but I'm really interested to try this little guy. He looks like, he's kind of intimidating, but I feel like he would really get the job done, especially if you have a particular muscle that's very, very tight. I think that would be a really good one to use. So we're gonna try him soon. I don't know when, but we're gonna try him soon, and I'll have to let you guys know how that goes. But it also comes with a charger, so you can charge it, and it has the instructions in there on how to charge it, how to know when it's going to die, um, and all those different things. And then one thing that I really like about this too, uh, which saves battery, is when it's in this position for longer than like three minutes, I think, it'll automatically turn off, because I have a bad habit of like, turning things off as far as like the massage thing stops but the machine is actually still on and so then the battery just kind of dies but with this being closed like this if i accidentally leave it on it'll turn off in like three minutes which is pretty awesome but this is the re-athlete air sea and heat product it comes in this cute little package I'm super sleek and it's super lightweight i was it was not as heavy as i thought it was going to be when i was seeing it online and when the box first came this has actually become my favorite product to use it's a full massage and leg treatment that also has like heat as well obviously hence air sea and heat but it comes like this if i can pull it out it also comes with these like extenders for like let's say if your legs are a little bit bigger or longer like if you're a taller person bigger person whatever it may be so that way like it can fit you so it's customizable to fit you depending on 
size, shape, all of that stuff. I've begun to use this thing literally like every night. And I mean like every night religiously before I go to bed. But they have like the right and the left leg and they're attached and you can Velcro, like you can kind of fix whatever to make it fit however you would like. You definitely want it on secure when you're using them. I use it, like I said, after every practice pretty much or every workout, um, especially like right before I go to bed. I think it's nice and it just makes my legs feel so much more lightweight and better. And I think that's important because I feel like I do a lot of explosive leg work, whether it's pitching, running, working out, things like that. I absolutely love this. I know I said that one's a game changer, but I definitely think this one is too. I think they both are personally. I've noticed a huge difference within the last several days of using these as to how I feel in the morning or how I feel in my workouts just from using these. Like I normally will wake up super sore and I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm gonna have to stretch extra today or whatever. But after starting to use these at night before I go to bed and like right after my workouts and stuff like that, like I feel like I'm so much more refreshed, at least my leg, like my legs are. And I think it just, allows me to kind of get motivated a little bit quicker. Sometimes it's hard to get motivated when you're sore. So to kind of just have that fresher feeling in my legs before I go work out and once I wake up in the morning, I think that's awesome. And it's helped me. A couple other things that I wanna bring up before I show you guys how to use these as well as the massage gun is that these, what they do when they're compressing against your leg and massaging your leg, is they're increasing blood flow, which is huge in muscle recovery. I don't know if you guys know a lot about weightlifting and working out and stuff, but when you're lifting and you're trying to gain muscle and stuff, like you're tearing those muscle fibers down. And so increased blood flow to those areas, like massaging, deep tissue, and all those things like that, it's increasing the blood flow, which is needed for your muscles to recover. So this is just kind of speeding up that process. It relieves pain. So for me personally, I mean, I don't consider soreness like pain, but obviously nobody likes being super sore. So when when I do these at night, it's kind of helping relieve that soreness a little bit. So when I wake up in the morning, my legs feel a lot more refreshed instead of being super tight and super sore, which is nice. And they also, the compression will help with decreasing inflammation and stuff like that. And the fact that these are heated as well is kind of nice because I kind of just get to sit there and I just feel warm and cozy while it's going on. So super nice, but let's get started on showing you how to use these things. Like I was kind of demonstrating earlier, on the side, it has like, this little button right here and that's what you press to kind of change the angle of the gun and then on the back if you can see like this is the power button and then you have this line right here and it'll light up depending on which mode of like frequency it is so if you want it like soft if you want it like a little bit harder etc 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 um there's four different modes but you press this down for like one to two seconds and then it automatically starts working so, and then if you wanna increase the frequency of it, you can hit it again. It goes a little bit faster, faster, faster. As you can see, it's red, which means Jordan needs to charge it. But yeah, you can just use this. Um, and like I said, there's different attachments for it, but you can put it on, whoa. <laughs> but you can just put it wherever you feel like you need a massage. Here are the legs, the air, sea, and heat. Here's what you plug into the wall. Here's the left leg. You just unvelcro all of them. And then you slide in. Now this knee thing you can move um, if you really desire to, but you can I you kind of slide your knee in. I'm gonna slide our leg into these legs <laughs> um, and then it has like the thing that goes over your knee which is like the heated part and then just velcro it to your desire obviously this works better if it's tighter but you don't want it like completely cutting your circulation on so just make sure it's nice and snug i feel so professional when i'm using them too which is like i don't know just kind of like a little like satisfying thing for me <laughs> but anyways enough of that this is the remote and I'll press this to start, so it's gonna make a noise when I start talking, so I'm just gonna run over it again. It, if you can see, if it's not too blurry, it's probably gonna be blurry. But top one, it's got like intensities, and then these are the different modes. I usually just do full leg, because I just, obviously my whole entire body gets sore very quickly, so I just do all of it. And then the bottom button is the heat. So when you're on the screen, and you turn them on, I should probably plug it in before I turn it on, but you plug it into the back right here and then you press the on button and then it shows up and right now it says, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can't really see that. But up top in the corner, it's 
30 minutes, which is the timer. I'm in mode one, which is full body. Um, and then the intensity is low, so I can hit this button and then it'll turn into level two intensity. If I want to hit it again, it'll be level three intensity. And if I want to get it again, I'll do level four. I usually stick to around level three. And then the heat icon is in the bottom left corner. And if I press it once, then the heat button kind of like the heat icon kind of blinks. And that's like medium heat or level one heat. And then if I hit it again and then it just stays, like the heat icon stays on, then that's like the high heat. You can obviously hear it working, but I don't know if you can even see in the camera, but they're kind of inflating and compressioning. And my knees are getting warm because this thing is heated. To stop it, you hold the top button. So the intensity button, you hold it down until it stops and then it deflates. And once it fully deflates, you're more than welcome to unplug it from the wall, unplug it from this, and then fold it up and put it back in the case, which is super convenient. And yeah, that's kind of all I got on this. I don't know what else to tell you guys. I mean, it's kind of like my favorite thing ever to do right now. I feel so like, I just feel like I have my life together when I'm doing these kinds of things. Because I was always one of those kids that never really stretched a whole lot. Definitely pulled a few muscles in my lifetime. And now that I'm a fifth year, instead of a freshman or anything like that, obviously I feel like my body, um, even though I feel like I'm in the best shape of my life, I am a granny in the college world, I guess. So I definitely need to take care of my body. And the longer and longer I've been in college, the more I've realized that. So to have access to products like these from Reathlete is huge for me because I think it's helping me stay one step ahead instead of not feeling like I have time to go into the training room or the treatment center or whatever and use whatever they have there or taking that extra time to stretch like I can literally just do this stuff at home like while I'm doing homework or making YouTube videos or just kind of like checking emails or watching TV like that's one thing that I think is so nice about having my own set and using these products is that I have them I can take them anywhere, I can use them really anywhere, they're super portable, and they're great products. Like, they've been absolute game changers for me. That's kind of all I've got for today. So, like I said, if you guys want me to actually like film film my workouts, I would be more than happy to do so. And talk a little bit more about why I do certain things, um, how I do certain things. Um, any tutorials, I'd definitely be more than happy to start making TikToks on those. I know there's a lot of different people on TikTok that do workout videos and things like that, but I would definitely be more than happy to kind of get into that a little bit more. If that's something that you guys are interested in, I by no means am a certified personal trainer of any sort or health nutritionist, you name it. I'm not certified in any of that stuff. I am just a college softball player who loves working out and taking care of her body. And these are just the things that I do that I find work best for me. So if these are things that you would like me to do or are interested in seeing more of, just leave a comment below, shoot me a DM. Thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you guys' support. Uh, like I said, definitely go check out Reathlete. I will leave a link in the description below for you guys to check out these Reathlete products and get $20 off. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, all that stuff. I will see you guys next time. So, goodbye.